watching Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. We're joined today by Jenny Baxter. She is a trustee with the Long Beach Community College District, which continues to just wow the entire community college system with its successes. It's hard to deny. I want to start by talking about a local measure, okay. but of course our friends statewide will understand. It's called Measure E. Tell us about Measure E, what the voters of this area did with Measure E. Well, there are actually two measures. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. The first one was in 2002, mm -hmm. and I was very involved in that measure because the foundation uh, put up, uh, the Long Beach City College Foundation put up the money uh, to to pass the measure. I forgot, well, you're also Yeah, I'm president. the executive director yeah, of the Long Beach City right. College Foundation. Exactly. So, so once the board votes to have the measure, they cannot use college money anymore. So the Long Beach State College Foundation stepped up. And so because our money was involved, right. I was there every day on the phone every night. And right. uh, and so we uh, won that election by 65% of the nice, vote. Nice, nice. So we needed 55%, nice. is that we right? We needed 55%, For, we had 65. Cut. And then again in 2006, you said. Yes, and then uh, it was... Uh, Eloy, uh, President Oakley, right. came to me and he said, uh, we want to do a, a second measure. Right. And, I, and we were just going through the um, capital campaign for the Long Beach College Promise. I go, oh, Eloy, don't Which do we're going to talk about in a moment. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't do this to right. me. But luckily, we had almost all our money collected. Uh -huh. So uh, there was not a problem with raising money. And uh, that passed by 67% nice. vote. So, and so between and the I two. And I want to thank the voters of Long Beach because uh, you really have shown. Uh, right faith in us and belief in what we do. And between the two, $616 million yes. used for modernization. And re I mean, there's so many projects, but let's talk about the most recent one. It's humbly called Building V, but it is so much more than just <laughs> Building V. Tell us about uh, Building V. Okay. Yeah. Well, first of all, the reason why it's called Building V is because I'm looking for somebody to put their name on it. Nice. Well, so, so well done. So, yes. so that's why we don't oh, exactly. put a name on it. Right. Uh, building on V. v yeah, right. Building V. It's going to stay there for right. a little while. But um, it's actually made of two components, which don't sound like they'd be similar, but they really are. Okay. Half of it is uh, the math department, okay. and uh, we have a wonderful facility with smart classrooms, mm. and then a huge math learning center with 150 computer stations. Nice. Nice. And what the math department is doing right now is they are offering a program called Alex, where they put 150 students in the room, four teachers, two tutors, and the computer determines how well you know the subject adaptive. matter. It's and adaptive. And for like, if I was in math, I'd be at the bottom, <laughs> you the blue both. bird, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, you and me both. Yeah, right. and, and but but so then, if a person's better or smarter or whatever, right. faster, they're moving ahead. And so the teachers actually can tune in and see how the student is Brilliant. doing. And so if they're having a problem, they can stop and take them in another room. And so of course, that. so that's math. When you think math, you think culinary. Or yeah, not. That's right. <laughs> or yeah. not. Okay. But apparently, Building V is math and culinary yes, arts. Yes, it is. So, and okay. you the think math about it. are hungry. Culinary, hungry. you have to <laughs> you have to measure. Right, you have and to you measure. you have to know two quarts See, and two quarts is four and it. one gallon exactly. or whatever it is. So, uh, yes, and so the other half is the culinary, and this is just a masterpiece. Not that the math isn't. Right. But we have five demonstration kitchens. We have a classroom with tiered seating with a demonstration kitchen. We have a restaurant. We have a bakery. I would. Uh, encourage the um, uh, uh, the people watching right. the program to come. They sell croissants and baked goods wow. and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> wow. Plus, plus have a restaurant. Right. And I took a gentleman there the other day for lunch, uh, and he was just really impressed by the students and and you know they they run the whole program. And, and let's talk about the students. Yeah. Because the students at Long Beach City College, they're dedicated, they're determined, and they're so lucky because of what's known as the Long Beach College Promise. We have spoken about this on this program, and it is impossible to deny that the Long Beach College Promise is groundbreaking. Mm -hmm. It's now in its, what, 10th year? Yes. Yeah, so it set the standard. Mm -hmm. Tell us what the Long Beach College Promise is. Well, again, President Oakley uh, came to the foundation, mm -hmm. and uh, we were going to have a capital campaign. Right. But we needed a focus, and that's really important when you're asking people for large sums of right. money. And so he came up with this idea of offering one semester tuition to every Long Beach Unified District 
uh, high school right. graduate, plus the, the private schools in the surrounding right. area, so anybody oh, in okay. the district. And I went, oh my God, how are we gonna pay right. for this? But so many of our students uh, don't pay tuition because um, they're on a board of right. governors waiver. But so far since 2005, 12,000 students have received one semester free. And the idea is nobody can say, I right. can't afford to go to college. Now on September 24th. And this, you gotta hear. I yeah. mean, <laughs> I, I hate to interrupt the headline, but this is a headline. Yeah, go. well, thank you. Uh, the, uh, President Oakley uh, approached the foundation board again and said he'd like to extend it for a year. And so we voted to do that. So is that starting the spring of 2016, we will be offering a year's scholarship. And that's fantastic. It, it's beyond fantastic. It is life-changing. I mean, even though community college in California is relatively affordable, mm -hmm. $46 a unit, mm -hmm. for a family struggling, $500 a semester is still $500 a semester. Exactly. It's not easy, and it's not just $500 a semester. It's the books, it's the blah, 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 right. on and on. And this really reaches those people in the middle right. who are the wor what I call the working poor. They're working, they're making they money, can't get on the waiver. but they can't get on the waiver, and so this really helps them and get ahead. And consider that in the best of times, and I yeah. think we're kind of in the best of times, you can graduate from community college in two years. Yes. Five years ago, we couldn't get our classes. Well, the yeah. other part of the uh. college promise is in your senior year of high school, well, two things. In your yeah. junior year of high school, you are in the Long Beach Unified, mm. you are assessed. So if you need help in math, if right. you need help in English, they're trying to remediate at, at that level. And that's what's holding people back from graduating. Mm. But in the senior year, the, gra the graduating senior and their parents sign the Long Beach College Promise, which says, we will follow the directive of the college and take the classes the college tells us to take, uh, to right. take in the best sense and yes and then we will graduate in two years and, and you know, this is revolution and what happens when they graduate in two years because you have a sister institution we're at it today that's right and cal state long beach is part of the po college promise and they are guaranteed admission if they in other words they're taken first if they right. meet the qualifications so but presumably most of our, they would yes. Yes. because they're part of the promise exactly. and the promise puts exactly. them in a program to allow yeah. them and, and let's remember, Cal State Long Beach, I mean, not a slouch of an institution. No. I mean, Cal we State are Long very Beach fortunate. in the last you know, five years is in the top five or 10 applications exactly. in the whole country. Exactly. The whole exactly. country. And so I can only imagine the pride you feel oh, yeah. you know, with Absolutely. what's happening you know, mm -hmm. here in Long Beach with yeah. the way there's a seamless transition exactly. from LBUSD to LBCC to Cal State Long yeah. Beach. And I have to tell you, it's, it's been that way, but in particular, I give a shout out to Jane Close Conley. Who's the president She's here. The, who is the president of Cal mm -hmm. State Long Beach, and she is maintaining that. You know, and right. they, we've had the same president, the Unifieds had the same superintendent, right. but you've had several right. uh, Cal State Long Beach presidents. Although and King she Alexander, has come in. he was also wonderful. Oh, oh they're, yeah. they're all, right. Bob Max, exactly. they're all wonderful. Right. But what I'm getting at, a new person can come in and they could say, I don't like this idea. I but understand. she has a, a, adapted and adopted it, right. and our students get preference uh, over any, uh, any other district. And like you said, this is an, uh, an institution that is very, right. very popular. And the promise is a national model now. Yes. As we know, President Obama has recently launched a program that's known as Heads Up America. He's hoping to provide free community college for both, I think it would be two years. Well, for two years. For two years. We're not there yet, but maybe Long Beach will be. Well, President Oakley, if he had his way, right. would do two years. The idea is we have a very large scholarship program. Uh, this fiscal year, right. we've given $1.5 million. That's not counting the College Promise, in addition. So the idea is, okay, you, you get in, you apply, and the next year we'll take care of you. Her name is Judy Baxter. She is a trustee with the Long Beach Community College District, also the Executive Director of the Long Beach Community College Foundation. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Charter Local Edition.